often wondered why I chose watercolour to start this crazy career of mine putting paint onto paper. I could have chosen anything. I could have chosen oil paint or acrylic, anything that would have been a lot easier actually. But like all the beginners that I know, we always go for the watercolour. I've got three types of paper here that I brought in for us to try. And you don't have to stretch this, you can use it, lots and lots of water onto this and it won't buckle. So there is a terrific advantage in using this paper. It's lovely, it's got a, just enough edge so that the paint, paintbrush isn't sliding around all over the place. One of the most difficult things, look around, what can I paint? I don't know how to start. And so this is my own personal way of starting. So this is my setup and I'm not going to draw it first because I spend a lot of time setting these things up exactly where I want them. I'm just going to lift a little bit of this paint to give that sort of puffiness in these little these little pictures here. So it starts to warm up these apples. Usually when I'm working like this I'd do a very small bit of painting and then I'd walk away and um, let it dry. In this second section, uh, I'm going to talk to you about the problems that arrive when you get halfway through a painting. So I'm going to start with a bit of uh, this green and work into this section here. Going to go, as I did before, the top of the jug is flat on. We're not going to get any perspective here. an ordinary water soluble pencil and some just very very ordinary uh, sandpaper and it sticks to it where you, exactly where you want it to go and this bit here with the cup I need to soften that so I'm going to do something quite drastic just get a scrubbing brush and just go like that so that its whole thing is lifted across even that blue bit and you see how it's all sort of running down here you get a lovely strong blue there. Because you may not be able to get rid of all your accidents, uh, you've got to be prepared. Uh, for instance, if my cat walks across my painting and leaves poor marks, what do I do? I add more poor marks and pretend that was exactly what I wanted to happen. And this is what might happen just now, for instance. What about a little secret accident going on here? I'll just see what I can do with that. Mm -hmm. 